Yo, what up? Welcome to Dirty Ice Overkill. Uh, just a quick rundown of all the favors here. We've got Rooftop Chopper, which I think is just fucking mint if you're going to be doing this on loud. It brings a chopper down on the rooftop next door, where you can ferry loot out through the window inside of the building. You're in danger about 0% of the time, and the chopper never leaves. This is a guide for stealth, though, so we'll worry about that later. Employee entrance being open is all right. It leaves the back door of the building unlocked. Who cares? It's it's next to three separate windows. Four if you count the cafeteria. But you can just let yourself in. It's all right. It'll allow you to get in super quick if you really want it. I don't think it's necessary for a burnable non-infinite asset. Distracted manager is great for stealth. It puts her in the kitchen. She never leaves. This is awesome. If you're learning the map, you need some time. You need to take some time. It just means that she won't be out of your hair and you do need her for a couple of objectives as we'll get to zip line bag right now as far as i know doesn't spawn in map and doesn't have a location and the loud bags don't matter so we're not going to take any of these as per usual the only requirement is you have a gun with a silencer and even then you don't need to if you don't want to kill it just depends on if people are doing pacifist or not all right dirty ice nice and easy basic map i'm going to give you just a breakdown of how to do a simple solo just completion if you want a full pull i'll explain how that's done but I didn't buy Distracted Manager, which means we're on kind of a time crunch with the manager. I've only got a couple of minutes to do all the rest of the objectives in the map in order to make sure that she doesn't leave. So first off, run through the middle here, play in traffic, live out my childhood dreams. That's the manager we're looking for. I have the perk that with Rush allows you to steal things when only civvies can see you. So it doesn't say observed, you can take whatever you want. Uh, over here though, if you want to cut through the glass or something and it says observed, like a camera seeing you, that'll immediately set off the alarms. Lock picking is for some reason not immediately illegal, but opening the cases are. You can loop these. It's not the end of the world. As soon as you put a bag on your back, it's yours. They won't care about it. So you can slowly work your way through the whole front area with proper skills in the skill tree. If you want to know more about that, do check out my stealth skill tree video. But for now, we come over here. This is the window I personally like to use most of the time. It gets you right into the manager's office. There can be a camera there. Be aware of it. Either there, there, or right here will be the phone with the QR code on it. It's always one in her office. You can pick it up to get into VIP or yeah, the VIP section every time. We'll hack this PC to figure out what code I need for downstairs. We'll use that on that. Open this. We're on a time crunch, so I'm being a little fast. It's the employee of the month frame in the front room. Guard. This is one of the guards I like to kill, but again, I'm trying to play for time, so I'll probably kill them later. I like to hack this camera 100% of the time. Standing against that wall, you can get it even if it's looking at you. It's not the end of the world. 7153 is the code out there. This NPC is oblivious. Nobody needs to care about them. Just walk around. You have to get near the biometric scanner to start the conversation that allows you to blackmail the manager, so we'll do that. I'm not trying to deal with anybody this early, so we're just going to walk past them. We'll come over here and go to the basement. We know that the code is 7153. Pop that open. I like to hack this camera because it's about the only one that actually gets in my way down here. Spotted a guard. This guard's got the key card I want. I'm going to hack his radio real quick. Walk over here. Turn off security upstairs. Well, there's that time crunch I was talking about. We're down to 60 seconds on the manager, but that's fine. And come down to the safe and hit this real quick. Wait for the prompt that tells you to take a picture of it. He's still over there, so... I'm gonna do that. Take a photo of the evidence, jump this. He's checking out the knife I threw. So we can go through the tree. You can just wait for him, but I'm not big on the whole waiting thing. So we come back to her office and give her a call. The prerequisites to call her is that you've taken a picture of the evidence in the basement and that you've seen her scanner in the back room. So in the meantime, I now can actually start clearing this out. Uh, I like that camera to be hacked, but if I hack another camera, that's going to change. Let me just shoot this guy. Because the last camera I hacked was in the basement. So we're going to drop a guard here and answer the radio. I like to kill both guards that patrol through here. It just gives you free access to the entire building and nobody bothers you. 
she comes in, I'm gonna shut the door so nobody Is sees us. Shut up. We're gonna take her, and you can push her against this button. You can do it to anyone who works in the building. And they will hold the button for you. So you can walk up, scan that red keycard from the basement, and get access to the vault. I'm gonna kill him next. I said I'm gonna kill him next. This camera only really looks at the vault and looks at him. Uh, you don't need to loop it, you can just wait a second and catch him in normal circumstances. How are you not seeing the panicking oh, civilian? I had an appointment. Ah. Whoa. Ma'am, you need to get down. Why aren't you getting down? Anyway, that's why I like to keep that thing looped. Get down. Hello? There we go. Yeah, I just wanted to say... Uh, Sorry for the brief you know panic. I made a slight mistake there in how I handled that. Oh, I knew that other weird. door was open wow, and I shouldn't have dealt it that way. Time. That's weird. But it's fine. These are all looped now. We have access to every room except for the front room. And there's no longer anybody to bother us. That's how I do this map. So we move everybody over here into the manager's office. We'll tie up some hands. We'll tie up some hands. We'll tie up some hands. We'll clear this body out of this hallway. And boom. The map is now yours. There is one additional little interesting factor you have to be aware of. There's a guard. So, we have access to this. I'm gonna cut this because I'm working on challenges and I have cut very few things. So, we can take the rare stone. We can also take the jewelry in these jewelry cases. The only problem is that taking anything that is a physical, baggable piece of jewelry will change the patrol route of the head guard on this map. I seem to be able to take as much free cash as I want without any issues, but I like to come in here and prep everything. Make sure that all these containers are open. Now there's one more room in here. So everything's prepped up. The actual reason you wanted the manager wasn't to press this button. It was to open the biometric scanner into her workshop so that you can clean the gems so that they are both worth more money and get you more percentage on the turn -in. This is the easiest way to do a solo stealth. Yes, the front room is unlooted. Yes, I could have looted more of it. It's better if you have the distracted manager asset because she will not leave in that case. And you can take forever to just work your way through the front. Get those bags out. Get those bags even back around here. If you have distracted managers, she will be in there. And she will be to the left behind the counter. She stays there the entire time. She does not leave after a set amount of time, even if you get the voice prompt that she's supposed to. And calling her on this phone will not bring her over here. She doesn't care. So to show you how that works, again, sometimes there could be a camera there. Just be aware of it. Is you come into this What's room. The guard? That guard's there right now. That's where you want him. I'm going to hack him to make sure he stays there. She stands right here. So you come in when he's moving. He goes from there, there guard. to there. When he's moving over guard. towards the soda machine, you walk in, grab her and walk her out. Guard. He will not see you. He'll just stand there against the wall. Just wait till the guys that usually patrol in here leave. Or if you've killed them like I do, it's really easy. This guy will not leave the kitchen. If you really want to, you can just close the kitchen door. He will never be a problem. But the big thing is that when you start pulling bags, the head guard changes his patrol route from back here around this truck he walks just here to he will come in this door stand at these books he'll go in stand over there he'll go into the lobby for a little bit go through it go into the kitchen and stand over there then he'll come down in through here again he'll go out this back door there he oh, is right now over there and he will go down there and do like the smoke break thing and talk to the civvy that's out there and then he'll come back and repeat that rep that sucks because it puts him through the epicenter of everything you're doing so the other cool thing about this map in the cleaning of the gems i'm just going to start taking all the loose right now usually i'll throw a motion tracker on the head guard right around now or earlier on in the map so that i can see him through the wall and i know what he's up to if you do that, you'll know when his patrol route changes and it won't be a problem. So the other cool little fun objective that has changed in this map is you come in here, you throw them in there, and it starts dealing with them. 
You don't need to loop that camera necessarily, but I like to because the other one is not required. Be sure not to sprint in here. This is a secure area. The head guard can hear you. The guy in the lobby can hear you. You can get yourself into a lot of trouble pretty quickly. And that is the back room looted and all five packets are cleaning. So you can sit here and pull these off. You're basically just AFK here while this works. Uh, which is great because I don't know when the guard's going to start moving inside and I can sit here and wait for him to approach this room while I clean bags. Once he moves out of this room, I know I have a window to move bags. The manager's office is again clear. He won't go in there. The door is shut right now. He won't see anything. Everything's perfect. So I will sit here and wait, which is unfortunate. As everybody knows, I don't really like waiting around in payday. But it's good to take a load off every once in a while. So we'll sit here and take a break and let that scan through. Wait for the guard to show up. There he There's is. The, guard. the boy. Yeah, and he stands so the right guard. there, which unfortunately can see me. If I wanted to be a cheeky little shit, I could just... Guard. Monitor him closely. More might be clean. Oh, not quite. There's the guard. And we keep our eyes on him. As soon as he goes through that door, we start to make our move. The guard. Shouldn't be too long now. In fact, shouldn't be long enough that he uh, lets me get another bag clean. Oh, there he goes. Watch the guard. We'll stand up and go. I lied. This door wasn't closed. But again, whatever. It's not the end of the world. So we're cleaning the last set. I know where he is. Let me do that so that more of this is covered for when he walks back through because I'm not going to know where he is the whole time. Guard, over there. There he is. Take the blue key card if you want to get rid of the cameras. He almost always has it as far as I know. And he's back outside taking his smoke break. I have one more bag to grab. Uh, I'm just going to use this opportunity just to mark him, but apparently he's too dummy thick for my camera. So oh, here's to hoping he doesn't just turn around and come back in here on me. He shouldn't. He should go for his full route, like I said, but you never know. Let's check him again really quick just to be sure. He's starting to move. Wait, where are you going, bud? Guard. Okay, yeah, he's going out for the smoke break, like I said. A camera. Forever ago now with that civvy. I could hack this camera, but whatever. It'll turn away. We have the rare stone. That door is shut. We basically have all of the loot alone with the escape. So we come back in through this window. Just throw the loot up here for now. This is a private area, so you can sprint. Just grabbing all the jewels. Five cleaned bags and a rare stone. All yours for the taking. And if you are looking for the full pull and you want the entire clean achievement and you can't figure out how to get everything down in stealth up front, at about now, if you have three friends hanging out, you can totally just sweep that front room, go loud and clean those. And if you do a little bit of hostage negotiation, 90% of it's going to be ready to go before the cops even get here. So if you're really struggling with that achievement, for instance, it's uh, totally achievable to you. I'm here. Come I'm over here and I'm check. Back. The head guard has left. So I can walk there and throw. If you're not trash, uh, that will go right in. But I am trash. I haven't done this in a few days. And apparently I've forgotten all of my own throwing tactics. There That's you go. 
If you're good, you can straight up just do that with everyone. Leaving the bags out there like I have is stupid. The head guard can come back at any point in time and see them. But like, we're almost done here and I'm close enough that I could just shoot that man in the forehead and no one would be any of the wiser except for the dead civvy that I had to shoot along with him. So I'm playing with their lives, not the health of my run. Three bags and counting. That's five. And voila. That's a pretty good haul. It's an escape in about 14 minutes. It was a little slow, but I was trying to remember if there's anything else I had to explain to you guys. That's dirty ice. Simple and sweet. Hope that helped. Hope you guys have a lot of fun with the map like I do. Happy heisting, boys.